before you even think that this turtleneck is far too warm for this weather. I'm feeling really cold today, so this is why I'm wearing it. Hello, I'm Marta. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take a look at my Vanguard portfolio. Three weeks, not four weeks after my previous update, but as some of you know, I was late last time, so this time it's on time. Let's take a look. So one of the comments under my previous update was about lack of... Uh... Can you hear this plane? Yeah. One of you told me in the comments under the previous update that my video lacked the keep calm and carry on and stay positive message. And in case you do need this message, well, right now we are in the middle of a really nice correction. We are in what's called a bear market, which means that the market basically dropped at least 20%. And this is the time to buy. So if you invest, let's say, 100 pounds per month, this is the time that it would be great if you could invest more. So do I do it? Do I listen to my own advice? I'm sticking to my own plan. I invest 1,000 pounds into my pension every single month and whatever I can into my ISA. By the way, I still haven't made my update about ISA on the Invest Engine platform, my first impressions, and that one is coming up soon because it's been three months since the publishing of this video so it will be coming up soon yes but if i could i would definitely invest more the reason i don't is because this year i'm focusing on working less not on investing more if that makes any sense in case you are less hopeful and you are actually worried about the state of the markets at the moment please keep in mind that whatever you buy now you're buying at a much lower price, which means it's going to make you much more money in the long term. So just stay invested and if you are too worried and you don't want to buy anything, just at least keep those investments in. With time they will definitely reward you and your future self will be really, really grateful to your present self for either not touching your investments or contributing more, or at least consistently, every month. Oh yes, to those of you who haven't started investing, I created a simple worksheet slash checklist, which you can download on my website for free. And it's called, am I ready to start investing? I remember when I was starting investing and I was making sure that I put certain steps in place. And these things definitely made me a much more relaxed and confident long-term investor. So. If you're wondering investing is for you, you haven't started, you're still on the fence, go and check it out. I'll link to it in the description of this video. All right, are we ready to open the laptop and take a look at my portfolio? I think we are. And of course, the moment I said I'm cold, I'm getting warm. Let's roll up my sleeves. All right, so as I can say always now, we are starting with my ISA. There hasn't been any changes in my ISA and its value is 78,000 and 300 pounds something so it went down yet again let's take a look at my investments emerging markets as always are still emerging life strategy 100 is in green FTSE all world is in green and sp500 is in green so not many changes here really let's take a look at the performance For the last month or so, flat-ish line, calculations for your fees, questions. Some of you already asked me about fees, so this is the screen you need to look at. Month by month performance, so much clearer view. And look at that, we actually are in green, 159 pounds or so. Investments we've already seen, so I'm not going to check this tab, but basically it's all the investments I've ever had in that ISA. So it's a bit of a mess. Okay, so my rate of return is 27.4%. As we know, this is not annual rate of return. I always have to stress that, okay? There haven't been any contributions, so no payments, no transactions on this account. So now let's take a look at my pension. 
my pension value is 103,000 and something and contributions this tax year only for my company 2,000 pounds. I'm sticking to my plan and I did make one contribution this month. Let's take a look at transactions now. Since my previous statements, there have been two contributions into my SP500 fund and these were my tax refunds. So they were not something I paid in, it was just a top up from the government. And finally, I contributed £1,000 and I bought a new fund. It's a FTSE developed Europe excluding UK ETF. Let's take a look at my investments. As you can see, Life Strategy and Target Retirement Fund, which is my main fund in this pension, are doing fine. SP500 has been slagging behind for quite a while now, but that's fine. I just keep topping up. And then the new fund, which is brand new, is the Europe fund. And if you're wondering why I decided to buy this fund, I thought that I'm not being too exposed to European markets at the moment. And I think it's also a very good time to invest in Europe at the moment. So if these funds are in red right now, this is a good sign for me for now. Let's take a look at the performance. Climbing up and Last month, plot line, calculations, month by month performance, my rate of return is 20.26%, which is actually worse than my ISA. So my main target retirement fund has not been as well as my funds in my ISA. Of course, there are many factors that contribute to that result and that performance. So I'm not going just to say, oh, it's rubbish, so let's get rid of it. For now, I'm okay with it. All I'm saying is that it's really interesting to see those results and very good to actually have experience of investing in not so DIY funds and more kind of DIY funds. Again, I'm skipping the investment tab and let's take a look at my whole portfolio. So my portfolio value is £181,000 and something. And despite my continuous contributions, it's still going down. But like I said in the beginning of this video, that is good and it's time to keep investing. My personal rate of return is over 25%. And let's take a look at the graph for the last month. No surprises. I'm skipping calculations because you've seen them. Let's take a look at the month by month calculation though. So it's only £1,000 more, but it's in green. As you can see, it's very much up and down, up and down, up and down at the moment. And finally, inside tab, what type of investments I have and where they are. So my product types are mostly blended funds my top eight geographical regions and finally i'm getting some exposure to europe here my top 10 investments sector allocation and performance over the last three months and back to no laptop view so this is what my portfolio looks like this month as much as i'm really tempted to do some lump investing at the moment because i have some money sitting in my bank account i want to tame my investments every month because the focus on investing and investing investing all the time is completely pointless if i cannot enjoy the money right now so i'm limiting myself to one thousand pounds per month as this is according to my financial plan and the pledge i took to take more time off this year i'm curious about you what are you doing this year what are you doing with this correction are you putting more money in are you actually staying away are you still hesitating let me know in the comments let me know how your portfolios are doing and what you're investing in at the moment as you can see i bought a new fund have you bought something new and if so why and finally to those of you who haven't started investing who have heard of vanguard who are feeling that maybe they should start and there's a lot of going on around you and a lot of talk about investing and you feel that you're missing out head over to my website download the worksheet and the checklist and see where you are on the journey on starting to invest. 
It's based on my personal journey with investing and what I consider essential to do before you start. And I'm 100% sure that it will clarify a thing or two for you. For now, we have a really nice and sunny day. And being in England, I talk about weather much more than I used to. I hope you're looking forward to the beginning of summer. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.